Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to visit a mono de la tinta, which literally translates into the ink monkey. What a cute name. It is an lithography studio and a printing school founded in 2003. I met the owner Miriam and Maria in 2018, I believe in June. Um, but I couldn't find the old photos. I believe in July I got robbed, someone took my bag away, and the SD card must would have been in that bag. So talking about the importance of backing up. But today I'm going to show you their new location just outside of the city along the Metro Line 1. By Metro it's like 45 minutes away. And I'm gonna show you what's inside, what they do, what is the life like running a lithography studio slash school, and you know perhaps a little bit about techniques and materials. I have no idea what I will see there, but this time I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna upload the video right away so you guys can see it and nobody can take those materials away from me, right? So that's the plan. Let's get going. I'm so lucky. Whoa. <laughs> this flower pot fell down, not on my head. I have 45 minutes to have lunch. Hola. Vale la pena. Okay. It's always curious to see those signs and look at this. A little church. Sunny again. You see the water? You see the water on my hand? Either it just rained on me or someone was spitting at me. Okay, I'm here. A mono de la tinta. Hola! Hola! Buenas! <laughs> ¿Cuánto tiempo? Mucho. Pasa, pasa. Hola, Hola María. Que estuvimos en el otro taller y, sí. y nuestra compañera Julia, Hola. que están ahí estampando. It's a, a lot bigger place and with a beautiful light, natural daylight. I apologize for my English. I speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the El Mono de la Tinta. It's a printing studio. We work here lithography and uh, etching and also photosensible process. And uh, we produce uh, editions for another artist. We also make our work, our personal work, and also we have uh, some time for people who want to learn or who want to uh, print or etch or whatever they want to make with the ink and the printing process. You can come for sessions, individual sessions. Uh, the group here is between three person or five or six. It's not everybody's doing one technique. You can come here and then one is uh, with uh, lithography and the other one is with dry point and the other one is mm, making colograph all at the same time. It's a bit messy, but also it's, it's very nice because um, the people mm, can see what the other ones are doing. It normally gets uh, a lot of interesting um, inspiration. You never know if you're going to have work or not. All the time you're living like, well, with this work we have uh, three months over, or one year over, 2008 or something like that. It was very hard and also the, the last, the pandemic one, was also hard. But I think to have these uh, different works uh, the, the courses, the commission, the, our artwork. You don't have to put all the eggs in the same basket. Talk a little bit about that. Mm, I'd rather not to show. <laughs> <laughs> My personal work is very uh, near the lithography. Sometimes if you are an artist, you, can, you, you have to focus on the artist, on your art. But when you are a lithographer that uh, helps people to make a lithography, you have to help that person that doesn't know anything about any problem that gets the, the technique or 
uh, the process or how they want to make uh, the draw on the on the stone or on the plate and what they can do or they can't do that's the the, the difficult part for the lithographer is to do this in the way that the artist can be as free as uh, he uh, he needs to make a good lithography the artist is the one who has the idea the artist is the one who make the draw or make the sketch or make the picture the work of the thinking is done and that's the important thing if you have the knowledge okay do it yourself but if you don't have the knowledge and you want to make a graphic work an addition why cannot you um, be helped i saw that you have an epson printer here yeah and it's marvelous <laughs> <laughs> but you just said that uh, you prefer handmade uh, art and prints and now you have an epson in there of course about the story. i rather to to do the hand print that i know that is uh, that some image that you is not it's impossible to do it to make an addition of some originals that artists come and say i want to make this uh, an addition of uh, 20 you see and they said it's impossible if you, want, if you want to make it in printing traditional process is impossible or we are not able we have no life to make this but there's this Epson machine, printer. Epson printer, and a computer. Yeah. How long does it take? Bah! <laughs> it's, it's not this silly, a silly question. It's, a, it's not a matter of time. I think it's a, a matter of uh, dedication. If you want to be an artist, you, I think you don't have to get uh, involved with a technique. You have to be an artist in photography, lithography, I don't know, drawing. Probably when you work, there's a, a, it's going to be a technique that then take you from the heart or the, or the brain. Sometimes the best lithographers I, I found, they, they were not artists. They know the stones, they know the plates, they know how to make uh, miracles. When you get this kind of perfection, a professional perfection, it's like the creative or, arti or artistic flame goes into the work for the other persons, not in your work. You asked me what is an uh, artist? What does this person have to do to be called an artist? <laughs> Are you an artist? I sometimes I feel like an artist. But I don't know if I'm an artist. I'm an artist, in, in your definition, I get paid uh, for my work. I get paid for my work as an artist, but it's not enough to live. So I work for another artist in an artist, pro artist process, but no, it's not my artistic work. But I, I feel like an artist. <laughs> I think it's like uh, you get uh, motivation for make this artistic work as good as you think you can do it. It doesn't matter if it's your own work or if it's the work of another person. You put all your creativity to take it from your hair or the hair, the head of, an, of the other artist to the paper. First to the plate, then to the paper. I like your metaphor of transferring because I think that when you transfer the idea from another artist's head into your head and onto the paper, you're doing the process of lithography mm -hmm. because you're doing an indirect transfer. <laughs> yeah, you become a medium like uh, another tool you become a tool for th that artist that wants to make a uh, lithography or an etching or uh, mm, digital uh, work 
if you don't have a, an artistic mind, it's very difficult to, to do that kind of service. You are more than only a technic. And ha to be a technic is a top. But to be a technic, te technical that, that has this sensibility is very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you to you. <laughs> it's a uh, aparadora. <laughs> es una we call guillotina o cizalla. Guillotina. Yeah. I like it. You put the plate here, here, okay, and you go like, bang, and then you cut the plate. Let me see if I have. It's dangerous. Yes. Yes. A tiny, tiny piece of polymer plate. I'm going to cut it. You go like this. You put it here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> then you get cut the plate. You can cut. Uh, the biggest is uh, one meter. This is a place for the paper and for the uh, student works. We keep here the, the Monday ones, the Friday ones. What is it called? A printing. Like printing machine. Like a printing machine. Well, the, the name, the Spanish name is Torculo. Es Torculo y este es de Aspas. ¿Vale? Aspas. You don't have to pass the Torculo like this. When the plate is here, there's a lot of pressure and you can have pain on your back. So you have to do it like this, and then you have only uh, strong your arms. More machines, more machines. This is the tiniest torculo, the place for the inks. Well, this is the resinadora. This is only for the aqua tint, the stones. This is the, the place for the... Perchloruro ferrico. Look at the light. Oh, yes. And look, turn, turn, and smell like um, iron. It's not toxic. Well, if you drink it, it's toxic. But it's stupid to drink <laughs> an etching um, place. Machine. Well, this is another torculo. And it, this goes like this, has no aspas. And the same, it's better to do it like this. This is the Lito Press, and it's for the four stones. You can print he also here the aluminum plate, but aluminum really works perfect on the torculo. This is one, uh, an insoladora. This is for the photosensible uh, techniques. You can work with uh, lito, photosensible lito, photopolímero, photogravado, also heliogravado. Here the light comes from upside. Here we have the place for the vacuum. And this is the same but bigger. This is plastic or yeah. is the rubber or what? No, no, plastic. Wow. So there's a little holes. Yeah, and with, with um, punzones, a dry point. Well, with this and the tools from the etching process, uh, it's how I make these kind of things. My cat makes them for free. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Me too! <laughs> Mono de la tinta. Literalmente. Mono y tinta. <laughs> y nos vemos la semana que viene. Sí. Mm -hmm. Hasta luego. Chao. Chao. 
As you can see, Miriam and Maria are lovely people. If you want to get in touch, I will leave a link to their website in the description below. Check it out. Before finishing this video, I want to give a big shout out to our patrons. Thank you very much for your support. And also thank you very much for watching this video. See you again.